Uh, we got one here from Mr. Rogers, neighbor. Uh, this is a hectic revenge story. It took two years for it to happen, but it all came together. It says, first girlfriend cheating with one of my best friends. Oh. I got both of them back separately. The way it happened was beautiful. Oh, dude, I love revenge. Oh, we, we love a good revenge story. How you doing, Mr. Rogers? <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? Uh, you dude. Be all right? Yeah, we're sorry you were waiting for 16 minutes, man. Yeah. Hey, it's it, it's all right. I'm up here at work. I'm on the clock, so I was getting paid. Oh, <laughs> um, all right. All right, yeah. So let me just jump into it and uh, go ahead and tell you what happened. Yeah, we love a good uh, revenge The names story. may or may not have been changed. Who knows? Whatever. But here we go. All right. So this is a long time ago. Uh, I'm like 16 years old got this little girlfriend and uh we start messing around and everything cool um ended up losing the virginity to her and all this sort of stuff you know just high school dumb shit right yeah. well she started acting weird one day and like i don't know why or how everything came about but it just didn't sit right with me so she had said something to me on the phone, and it didn't add up. So I was like, hey, look, I'm going to call you back. I get off the phone with her, and I call my buddy Jeff. And I'm like, hey, Jeff, I think Crystal's cheating on me. And his response was fucking just not right because he was like, it ain't me, man. I haven't touched her. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, yeah, all right, cool. I get off the phone with him. I call her back. I'm like, you fucking bitch. How long have you been fucking Jeff? <laughs> And she's like, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm my sorry. God. Oh, I'm sorry. So I, was, uh, I hang up on her. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. I call Jeff back. I'm like, hey, man, next time I see you, I'm going to beat your ass. Nice. And uh, he, he knew exactly what it was all about. All right. So obviously me and this girl, we, we're over and done with. I don't have nothing else to do with her. Well, like I said, it took... Your intro said two years. It took longer than two years for all of this to pan out. All right. All right. I had wrote all this off, but I had told Jeff that if I seen him again, it was going down. All right. Well, you, you basically you put him at the top of your beat on sight list. I I totally understand. Oh yeah, that. absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't. I wasn't stewing over it or anything. But should our paths cross? <laughs> Well, he's he on the knew list. what was going down. Oh, automatic. He's on the list. That's, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, hey, it, it is what it is. Exactly. So a couple years later, me and another friend of mine, we're, I was at Six Flags. And, you know, there's a huge crowd of people. We're walking from, like, one roller coaster going somewhere else. And I seen him. I was like, hey, I think that's a fucking cocksucker Jeff over there. <laughs> and, uh, Damn it, Jeff. Yeah. He, my buddy, he's like, yeah, I think you're right. Hey, let's go talk to him. I said, no, nah, I got this. <laughs> I walked over to him, and his back was turned towards me, and I called his name out. He turned around. He seen me. He lost all color in his face and everything else. He knew exactly what the fuck was about to happen. Nice. And the funny part is, he took off running like a little bitch. <laughs> ended up tripping. Ended up tripping. And he scuffed his leg up and cut himself and ended up having to get stitches. And literally was sitting there crying. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Again, as far as, like, the girl goes. Uh, I didn't give a shit about her, mm -hmm. right? Did wrote that shit off. I don't know how long it was. I can tell you this. I had been married, had two kids, and had been married for over 10 years. Wow. And then mm -hmm. this girl pops up on, uh, mm -hmm. hits me up on Facebook. Swing oh, back. Oh, God. And I, I, see, I seen her picture, and I was like, oh, my God. Deliver. It was nasty. Bitch looks nasty. All right. So I decide, okay, I'm going I'm to play with this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'd start, I start, like, flirting with her a little bit. Uh. And I'm not – I have no intentions whatsoever of actually doing anything. I got gotcha. you. So she's sending me, sending me these pictures and video and 
all oh. sorts of shit and the, the chat log and all this. I ended up giving that to her husband. Nice. And uh, I was like, hey, man, this bitch cheated on me a long time ago, and she's willing to do it again with you. Just, hey, here's a heads up. Damn. It ended up like she ended up getting kicked out. Bummer. The dude, div- the dude divorced her. Uh huh. And like with all the stuff that I had sent him, all this evidence and everything else, he got custody of the kids. Damn. And well, apparently it happened once, or twice before, probably more than that. Mm-hmm. No. But uh, next thing you know, she's living at home with her mom, <laughs> and uh, I didn't have to do anything. Outside of just wait, and it all fell fell together. It all fell together. And you know what the thing is? Is like virtually all of the women that I've ever known that did stupid shit like this to me. Now you know I'm in my fifties, and like quite literally, their lives are just cl- a fucking clusterfuck. They're decimated. It, yeah, they they just destroy their lives, and they're so oblivious to it, and they're totally cool with doing it. I don't know, man. So how are you doing now? You okay? Oh, absolutely, man. I'm still married to the same woman. Uh, this Valentine's Day will be 20, uh, 22 years. Yeah, because you, you, you love her and she's, she's, she's different. She's yeah, good. Yeah, people. man. She's good people. No, 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 no. Actually, what it is is like she's got a good heart. And, uh, uh, dude, you're blessed. She, a- absolutely. Dude, she's that's, she's uh, absolutely like a, a rare rare find these days yeah uh, yeah, yeah listen yeah, man I mean, if she's got a heart of gold you you're a lucky man yeah i've met maybe four women in my life who had a heart of gold yeah yeah i i, I know that uh she's, she's really kind-hearted and she still still to this day man like totally totally loves me and does goes out of her way to do things for me and I don't ask That's her rare. to do it. Like my job, my my uh, schedule may change. Well, I may come home at four o'clock in the morning. She'll get up before I get there. I don't ask her to do this, and uh-huh. she'll cook me dinner, dinner food at three thirty in the morning. So when I walk in at four, I have a hot plate of home cooked dinner food. Hell yeah! And brother. I mean, yeah. it's just yeah. So I, 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 I do. I love and respect her. Yeah, love see, and I, respect I, her. I don't get home cook. Uh, I don't get home cooking anymore. Well, I bring you stuff once in a while. Yeah, mostly. Like I, it's I brought Del you that uh, bowl of chili with the with the corn muffins, and then you ate the whole thing. And I was like, "Yeah, that's a there wasn't any meat in that." You're like, "What does this food do? Which magic that you speak of?" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, look, I just wanted to say, um, uh, both me and my wife, we watch your show. Oh, all right, and, awesome. Uh, just wanted to throw that out there. And uh, thanks for giving me the time to throw that out there. Mm. It is uh, it is what it is. Yep. And then uh, on a side note, old uh, Fitzwell uh, called me today and he said we should add one more to the number. We may have to add two. I was just previewing emails. Ah. So we'll check it out here in just a sec. But All right. thank you very much for calling in, good sir. It's a great story. Dude, thank you uh, so much. God bless you. And say hi to your wife for us. 10 4 will do. Y'all take it easy. Take it easy, Wild take Man. Take care. All right. Later. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.